What's going on guys? It's Wee Finny here and I'm back with some bleach that I've actually been slacking on a bit because of work and whatnot but I've been pretty much logging on doing some dailies and then stacking the items and I did a little bit of a top up to help with the gain of items that I've been slacking on so uh, pretty much we're gonna claim a lot of the reward items that we get I could also get the red Hokuhiku fragments if I really want to, but I'm not 100% sure if the items... No, I don't actually think the items are worth it to be fair. Uh, we currently have Soul Treasure Box, which is meant to be a daily top-up. Um, so you top up every day and then you gain an extra bonus if you top up every day. And then you get separate bonuses if you hit the milestones. Um, so as you can see, I will get 1,500 gold extra back. We also have, uh, I forget the English translation, but if you spend like 500 gold of coupons, 1,000, whatever, um, you unlock these and then you can spend additional gold to get the items. So for example, 2k gold for all these level 8 stones, which is, you know, really decent it's it's not the greatest but it is still decent and uh, they have modify which is pretty much a permanent event so there's no point explaining that uh, we have serate attack which is really nice for spending vitality and gaining stones and hogus as you can see it gives a lot of um, stone boxes a lot of level four some hoga enhances and then you can use the points to exchange for other items and you could even transport for more boxes or socket stones. Socket stones are pretty good. They also do the convert talismans, which are really, really good. Um, so if you have a lot of vitality spur, certainly an event to think about, to grind out. Um, if you hover over the red flags, it tells you the HP. And then if you hover over the writing, it tells you how much vitality it costs and how much damage you'll gain. Um, I suggest buying just all singles. Um, is it better to buy singles? No, it's, so it's not. So as you can see, this one's 20. So this gives you 20 damage. And then the next one will be like 45 or something. So you'll buy the one that costs 20 vitality. And then you just make sure you, you get the, the cheapest cost out of it. Each run should cost, I think, if done right, it's around, I think, 390 vitality, give or take. So you'll be able to clear it multiple times if you have a couple of thousand. We also have Real Furnace, which I will do all the points in here. And then I will exchange for see the hard choice is either conquest of might or exclusive frags and to be honest i'll actually take the exclusive frags because it's really nice to get the exclusive frags we also have the um cone event which if you top up certain amounts you'll also get certain like tabs of uh items so if you were to do a bunch of 200 gold top ups, you get level 6 stone, 1 hogu, bond skill frags, and then you're going to receive it a bunch. So, as you can see, because I did 10k, I'll get a level 10 stone, 20 mod soul, or 200 mod soul pills, uh, 200 XP hogu kills, and 100 red hogu kill fragments. So, I'll claim that. And then they also have a shop which you can get some characters out of, you get Raging Jacket, stuff like that. Um, they also have a good price for um, these, I, I believe. Oh, let me see, how much does one point get? 500 gold. Oh, so it's it's still, the average for a mod soul is 100 gold for one. So it's the same um, price line, so it is. So it's kind of meh. They also have Bankai Par, which is the best event in the game um, I don't care who tells you but it's the best event in the game 
um, if you top up one dollar and then 15 other people top up one dollar you get an extra 888 gold which is massively worth it so you could spend a whole year f farming this event It'll cost you five dollars every time this comes and you'll get a total of a th pretty much a thousand gold every day so you're getting what five thousand gold every time this event runs through for five dollars whereas five thousand normally costs you i think it's like 125 dollars so it's definitely an event that you should definitely top up on because it's it's worth it in every sense of the matter we also have all the steps we get a bunch of items points stones all the juicy goodness we also have 255 points which I could get a tier 12 Hogu or enhanced talismans or exclusives or the red Hogu Kush. Now, I would say the red Hogu Kush may be best to grab, but I'm in need of Hogus, so I am. I'm in need of exclusives. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, you know, I'm, I'm like a, a random amount between each of them, so I am, uh, just because. All the items are worth, so they are, and I can't really complain either way what one I get. Hogus, I'll use for my tier 14s. Red Hokukai pills are obviously massively worth, and that will give us 665, huge, 222 of the XP pills, 110 of those bad boys. We also have a bunch of stone boxes, which we'll open up. So let's see, let's get those better stones. So level sevens we get uh, vitality dodge counter level eights we get vitality hit. I think that was level nines we'll get some hit vitality. Uh, level ten we get force, which is strength. That's hella nice. That's really really good. Especially for stacking my Tushiro, or handsome Tushiro. We also have a bunch of silvers that we'll sell. Um, what I might do is I might stack a bunch of items over the next, uh, you know, say a week or so. And then just go through and upgrade and see um, where uh, I can get to with, you know, some sort of increase. Uh, I was able to get to level 88 on the Shinigami agent with a load of the Shino pills that was available during the last couple of events. Um, so that's definitely massive for PvP. Uh, we'll sacrifice the 118 Hogu talismans. And then we'll go to my Shin Toshiro. We go to the agility one that's what we want to upgrade and we'll get it to tier two uh, we could level it up once more but as you can see the points starts to get really costly so i think for now we'll just stack the whole group points and then we'll go through one day and just massively invest into it we also have um the stones that we got which i'll save uh, and then go through a video of maybe how I stack my stones. Uh, maybe if that's really interesting for you guys. Uh, we also have the, I think it's soul cultivation where every day you get free chances. Every, every, uh, every 10 minutes you get these silver chances and you get a total of five for free. This one's uh, one day. And then you get it for free. So as you can see, this says free, and then boom, you can get random items. And then this one's every 48 hours, which can give you real massive, massive points. And it also gives exclusive frags. And then when you hit a thousand, you can exchange it for any of the items. These uh, are one-time exchanges. So you can get Yamamoto, you can get Sexy or Hime, or you can get Stones. So what I will do is I'll exchange for a level 12 stone when I get to a thousand points or ten thousand points and then we'll hope that it's actually a really good stone. If not, then 
clear, we'll slightly cry a bit. <laughs> but as you can see, we're trying to get this guy up to 40 and we're pretty close. Once we get him to 40, we can move up to this guy or we can move to the Spider-Man and get the Spider-Man to 40 and then we can move the Batman and the Sakuragi and get these bad boys up to 90 and then we can move to Holmes straight away. So that's that's the aim because Holmes is the best one out of this and it's cheaper to do it properly than go all the way to one of these and get it to like 120 and then reset. So you definitely want to do it the correct way and then just go for home straight away and then it'll be much, much better for you. Um, like saving wise, and it means you don't have to spend any gold or anything. We also have a bunch of ground pets, which I'm super close to get one of these to level 100. So yeah, so hopefully we can get this to level 100 ASAP and we'll be laughing. And you know, a small boost to the Toshiro, as you can see, almost at the, the, the 1 million speed. I, I do have a bunch of coupons that I'm going to wait until the next Visor refunds and then spend on that to get a bunch of items also, because that's where the best output is. And then I'm still just trying to level up at the moment. Uh, Evil Spirits is very hard for me to get to because of the time zone and because the guys in my server are one-shotting it. So for me to be able to even get a decent amount of hits in, I would need to be either off work and those guys need to be nowhere near evil spurts, which is very unlikely. So it's pretty much do the daily um, XP claim, spend the 80 coupons and get the max um, XP gain as possible which is very slow and then obviously doing Ryoka and Guild War and stuff like that um, but we'll definitely try our hardest to grind as fast as possible we're also getting close to the attack all skill and then I could also make a video on me trying to do some of the bonds if you guys want to see that with the, the main and some T1 and see if we can clear any of the bonds and then what we can do is hopefully level up some of the Toshiro bonds. I currently have Okiora still in the team because I want to upgrade the last Toshiro to his upgraded state before adding him to the team. So we're uh, just on or just under halfway. So we're you know close but not that close. So we need to do a lot of these. So I'll take a couple of I'd say maybe a week, week and a half before we can get them. But if there's any videos that you want to see or even me doing small videos to explain certain events, definitely let me know and I'll try and see if I can get it to work. But hopefully you've enjoyed this, you know, just quick run through of the current events and, you know, some things that I'm aiming for. And then next time I'll do just a like a upgrade video and see how much power we can gain from stacking all the stats. And hopefully you enjoy. And until next time, peace peace.